Good afternoon, everyone. It's Friday, April 14, 2017, 3.35 p.m., finished working. Another good day, beautiful sunny day today. I made a... Hmm. It's a fucking detour, but it's gonna be worth it. So I made a lot of product today. Very happy with my day. My boss is relaying all the complicated job to me most of the time. Because I'm somewhat of what the what he qualifies as an electrical technician. And uh, I have the know-how how to assemble the wires, follow plans, electric components, and so on and so on. So he always relayed me on these jobs instead of the other guys that have been there longer than me. Uh, they are only good at doing... Uh... <laughs> Here he goes, what the hell he's doing a YouTube for? They're only good at doing uh, the steel part of the work. Well, I'm more versatile and I can do like the wide range of uh, work. Doing the steel work, the electronic works. I can do welding, solderings. So uh, that's what he likes most about me. I'm still a few, a few weeks away, a few months away of proving my true worth. But uh, the two main, uh, the VP and the boss, the owner of the company, they are getting more and more comfortable with who I am and the work I do. Because uh, they were uh, they were afraid that when they hired me, um, I was going to be this extravagant guy there that knows it all and do everything and blah blah blah. And uh, it turned out that there's certain thing I didn't know. I'm still learning. Well, I'm pretty much done learning, but uh, they asked me a few times about solutions. Like, uh, oh, well, how would you go in about doing this? How would you go in about doing that? How you would assemble this and that? And uh, I told them my point of view, my ideas. They liked it very much. They were very surprised. Uh, the easiest answer I gave, the solutions. But they were very happy with that. So far, so good. As for my time travel part of the vlog, uh, Colin was asking me um, how could people contribute? Well, most people I know on the forums, they're mostly on, or either unemployed or working part-time or to disabled. They're, uh, they're on disability leaves so they're not working so they can't contribute what the most the most valuable thing that they're contributing is their time and research and which that they have in plenty of and they did help me a lot everybody's helping me on that side because I don't have the time to do much research uh, new research because I spent uh, five years uh, doing my own research. Yeah, I'm taking a new route today. So, uh, basically for now, that's all I need is people to do research on certain topic that I have problems or issue with. And uh, currently, one of my biggest issue is uh, some people that are in the know about gravity field generators and uh, making uh, anti-gravity, they're, they're not communicating with me. I don't know if I ask properly if they're too on their high horse that they want to be addressed in a certain matters, but I'm not the type of person that cares about people's feelings. I'm very hard when it comes to that. and. Uh, yeah, I need to know, to learn more about uh, making the gravity field generators. I have a vague idea how to do it, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's actually gonna work. And it's the most crucial part of my project. 
I need this. I, I need I need this thing to work. So if people want to help me right now, uh, we need to learn how to generate a gravity field using centrifugal force. Spinning a liquid metal at high speed inside the tubes or any fashion to generate a gravity field. Um, I know that using a Tesla coil with a bismuth on top of it will create anti gravity, a, fo a repulsion force, but what I need is not anti gravity, what I need is gravity. I need something that will create. A gravity force strong enough to create a distortion like the UFOs are doing um, some back engineer information leaking about UFOs that they use that principle that I want to make which is a donut shaped cylinder that has uh, a high either mercury or liquid metals that they're spinning at high velocity and it gives the same effect as having a tops you know when you're spinning a tops well the tops become it creates its own gravity it generates its own gravity and you can move it easily even though if it would, it would weigh a ton you could li still lift it when it's spinning at the 10,000 rpm same principle with uh, bicycle wheels so that's why I, I that's how I need to generate a gravity field to create a distortion on the USS Eldridge uh, they were using a big heavy-duty generators to create their gravity field and, and that generator was huge it was five meter tall by two meter wide and it was spinning at 10,000 rpm and uh, some say that was the generator the electrical generator of the ship but it was something else it wasn't the electrical generators not at all uh, and electrical generators usually they're horizontal connected to a diesel motor which will become like a diesel generators but that kind of uh, the one that they show and uh, the one I analyze what I'll be like confirmed to me and it, it was something somewhat of a gravity generators that's why on uh, some Stephen Gibbs plan he wanted to use a two-phase motor a motor that was weighing at least 20 pounds and uh, when that two-phase motor was spinning at high speed uh, it would create its own gravity field not very strong but just strong enough so this is what I need right now. Now of course I need money and I need times. But these two these two things will eventually be met very soon. At least I hope. Uh, I have a solution on that and I'm waiting on uncertain answers. So if that comes to be, things will change drastically very soon. But uh, I have to keep my finger crossed on that. So, it's pretty much it for now. I don't have much else to talk about. It's going to be a long three-day weekend. And if uh, if more question comes in, I'll make another vlog tomorrow, probably. If not, I'm going to be probably off for the entire weekend. Uh, one of my family members passed away uh, last week. And uh, I need to rest. Uh, I have to go to his funeral tomorrow. So that won't give me much time to rest. And uh, I'll try at least to get sun, uh, Sunday and Monday off. One of my customers wants me to go and fix something of his. So I'll check on Sunday if I have time for that. So that's pretty much it for now. Have a good day everyone, have a good weekend and a happy Easter.